really wet over here. Everything's broken. All right, let's see what we're going to take. Oh, oh, I see, I see. This is a side table, and that's the marble. Well, we're definitely going to get the marble. This is cute, but I don't know where the bottom's at. And I don't really feel like messing with it. So now I gotta get this marble out. Ay, ay, ay. Dang it. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Now we'll take it for sure. Let's load up the other stuff and I'll come back and get it. <clears throat> All right. I didn't think I was going to find anything, but that's so funny. Remember I just found all those tank tops? This one, they didn't cut. Tank top out of it, and this is uh, let's see, what size is that extra large 14 to 16? These must be juniors, it's eight dollars. All right, let's go check the next. We 
we got one thing. That's kind of cool. Hopefully everything, they look like the paints were in the bottom. Looks like someone was already here. this part but we'll take that Easter cards. Where are you? Oh, that's heavy. Oh, come on. Ugh. It's just paper. up on that bag. Looks like there wasn't anything in there. I'm eyeballing something right now. Wow. Look at it. It's a whole bunch of chocolate bars. Wowza. pretzels in there. Very nice. That 
was fun. There's gonna be some fun stuff to book on the Sunday's live auction. 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Just got rid of all those cichlids and I don't have painting more. <laughs> Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? Um, everything is good over here. Um, just going to quickly mention that this Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is our live auction. Um, we will be having tons of new stuff in the boxes. We're going to do another pet box. Um, we're going to do a men's leather coat. Um, and there will be tons of fun snacks in there too. Just a just some fun filler items. Um, all right, so you've seen that I found this. Uh, this is for the um, invisible fence. So I'm not sure about it or anything. Hopefully it's not something that hurts him to do a little more investigating, but found that. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, just this lonesome little bowl all by itself. Um, it's these little bowls that I keep finding. And they'll be cute for, I can put a candle in it, whatever. Um, I actually found this at Bed Bath & Beyond too. Um, I haven't pulled this glass off yet because I want to be very careful. But look at how pretty that is with the flowers. And then I found this little solar lantern. little glass broke there, but it can be turned around. It's really cute. And I don't have a clip, but I found some of these magazines from Barnes and Nobles. And this one's pretty cool. It is $19.99. Um, $19.99. But I love how books are like this. Where it's like fun to read. Where they do different stuff. But um, yeah, it's... Let's see. There was one thing I was reading that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, let's see, that's here somewhere, um, like for instance, wet wipes, there is no denying how useful wet wipes are, but in terms of the environment, they are doing more harm than good. Champ is right now trying to get the ice cubes out of his water bowl. <laughs> Champy, come here, buddy. Champ. Come here. He likes to bob. I put ice cubes in his water and he likes to bob for them. He's hilarious. Um, but yeah, it was saying that there is no denying how useful wet wipes are, but in terms of the environment, they are doing more harm than good and they are full of microplastics. The bigger problem is that many people still flush wipes down the toilet. Um, so it was just interesting reading some of this. But um, yeah, so I found two of those from Barnes & Nobles. These three packs of magazines and um, Handmade Beauty in Home. So um, I, I would probably put some of these in the live auction boxes just for, like I said, for extra fun stuff. Um, I found these two things. I don't even know what the store was, but hopefully that works because my daughter's going to give it to her little half-sister. And then are these adorable little sandals, and they're 12 months. Very cute. Um, and you've seen I found all of these cards, and they do say Hallmark on the back, but they were for um, administrative, uh, administrative Professionals Day. So it was a bunch of them in there. Um, that's the first time I've ever found that those type of cards. Um, what else do we have here? Um, this was in the snack bag I found, and I don't know if this was from Michael's or from World Market. So, this has a little create, customized, and envelopes, stationery set, and look at all of these candy bars, uh, lint, the um, just milk chocolate, tons of those, tons of the Nestle Crunch, and this was, uh, 
This was a lot of fun. My daughter and we tried these. It's the birthday cake. It's like confetti uh, covered white chocolate pretzels. Um, and they were pretty yummy. And but this one was the was the best snack that we found. Um, Kenny's crumbs. Now you see a little crumb cake? That's what these are supposed to taste like, and they do. It's like a really nice crunchy cookie, and um, they're so good. And again, I don't know if these were from World Market or Michael's, but I'm going to have to throw some of these in the live auction boxes because you guys have to try them. They are really, really yummy. Um, I found this at Five Below. The glass was missing, but it's still really, really nice, and it just stand, can stand up like that. Um, then from TJ Maxx, I hadn't been over there in a while, um, but so this thing broke off. But I feel like I can fix that maybe with with the uh, glue. Um, and but look at how cute! It's a little three tier. So um, yeah, that was a nice little find. And look at the size of these candles. These candles are a, what does it say? Twenty six ounce tangerine guava. My I've had these in my kitchen. And the, my whole kitchen just smells so lovely. Um, they were broken up pretty bad. So I'm going to do my best to get all the glass off. And um, I'm probably going to keep one. And then we'll put one in the auction box. Um, this was in the bag with the snacks here. The string of lights. I don't know if it works, but they're battery operated. Um, I found this over... I don't know if it was by the Dollar Tree or I don't know. It looked like they were cleaning out their own stuff. But, uh, yeah, so actually maybe it was GameStop. So I think they were closing. That's what it was. GameStop was closing, and they were throwing out a bunch of their, their own stuff. But, but yeah, so, so far, a nice little um, score here of items. Let me set up for the next clip. All right, um, and then for Michael's, you guys saw that I... Um, grabbed this it's a little paint by number kit so i took it out it's like a scroll rolls up there just the canvas that way you can frame it afterwards it's really nice but yeah it's a paint by number and um i'm like uh i feel like michaela would enjoy enjoy doing that so i'll probably keep that for her um found another retractable uh, leash here I'm going to probably throw that in the uh, pet box this weekend. And I um, found this at Ulta, and it is completely filled. It They just took the little knob off. I could not find it for the life of me. I dug through that whole suit box. But um, I bought this product. I have another one, but it's a foam. It's a different pump um, than this one. But I love it. This is a spray-on mist for tan. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to have to just, I'm sure I can find something to stick on there. Um, I found this from Bed Bath & Beyond. Really nice. Looks like they lowered it to $10. Um, that will end up in our live auction box this weekend. Um, yeah, you guys, the cichlids. Is this not hilarious? You guys, if you have been attending the live auctions, you guys know that I have been trying for the life of me to get rid of all of those cichlids, and then I did, and then I opened up the dumpster at Party City, and what do I find? 150, 150, 150, so 450 things of cichlids. So guess what's going to be in our live auction boxes this weekend, you guys? You named it, the cichlids. Um, so that was kind of, I just chuckled when I found them. Because I'm like, oh, <laughs> my uh, my friends in the live auction um, are not going to believe it. Um, and then, uh, funny, you guys know, I've been giving those tank tops away. Um, hey, Winnie, what's your problem in there, buddy? Champ, you want to say hi? Hi. You are such a sweetie. There's my boy. Uh, I don't know. Winnie just goes in the other room and barks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But um, you guys know I've been finding all those tank tops, and then I went to a different Old Navy and found another tank top, but they didn't cut it or damage it, so um, that was pretty cool. And then you guys see, and then I grabbed that table. Look at how nice, and the marble just needs to be glued back on. Um, 
but it was originally fifty dollars. I love these little side tables. I find I found some in my earlier videos if you've seen them from from World Market. But yeah, this one was from TJ Maxx, so I definitely snag that one. And lastly was this looks like I'm pretty sure it's a dog uh, feeding bowl stand elevated thing here. Um, I don't know if there's any. I feel like there's something missing here because there were some staples that were sticking out but I'll look more into it but it did show that it was originally $19.99 so yeah pretty nice little week of scores um, to wrap this up you guys to make sure that you are a subscribe notification bell set an alarm for 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for Sunday for our live auction you guys don't want to miss it I have an Ugg Queen uh, comforter, not comforter, sorry, an Ugg Queen, I think it says full queen um, sheet set. So we will be auctioning off that and seven boxes and a pet box. So lots of fun stuff. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video and make sure you hit that thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Have a great weekend.